That video is dedicated to the fine detail library, the amazing plots that were added to Lumion 2023.3 update. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools and today's video is all dedicated to the plants added to their latest update Lumion 2023.3 update. So this latest update they added quite a lot of plants and really good quality plants so from the fine detail nature library. So from the start Lumion is really was really always a strong program in terms of plants available in their default library. And this is really important if you're a garden designer or a landscaper because you can always add plants from the, for example, 3D warehouse. You have good quality models, um, uh, even high polygon uh, models you can add fairly easy inside Lumion. Depends, of course, your PC um, capabilities. But the thing is, it they come static. So they don't move with the wind. So anytime you're trying to do an animation, showing a grass, for example, moving in the garden with the wind, it's really important that the nature uh, model it's animated. Um, and of course, you can disguise it putting, you know, default plants, uh, default models that have some movement together with static ones and that kind of disguise it. But it's of course it's always better to have that plants available inside Lumion and uh, to show that movement. So we're gonna uh, explore a little bit of the plants that they were um, that they were added, and I'm gonna add some images. So oh, this is a, a model that they actually changed, modified it a little bit, but this is a, a Lumion uh, 2023 Pro uh, version model that comes and you can uh, try it on. So let's go and explore the actual plot. So to give you an idea of numbers, these were the, the plants, the models that they were added in the 2023.0 uh, update. Okay, so this is, I'm always talking about the pro version. If you're a garden designer or landscaper that thinking and investing in Lumion, it doesn't even matter. I don't think you should even try the standard one because it's really, you know, you're gonna feel disappointed. If you're gonna invest in this software, go for the pro, okay, the pro version, because then you're gonna have all the plants that I'm talking about and what all the models that really, you know, uh, makes Lumion and the effects that makes Lumion stand out uh, regarding uh, comparing with other softwares. But just to give you um, a quick view of the numbers, uh, what we're looking at and what we want is the fine detail nature uh, um, uh, numbers, uh, the total one and the, in terms of uh, objects library, what we want is the, the um, trees or plants that they don't have here actually. So all the ones that they were added when it was the 2023 update, dot zero, okay, update, um, in total was like uh, 66 um, total number of fine detail plants. In total, okay, the total from all the updates that Lumion has, in here you can see the number of plants available in the normal nature library. So really still good, really, really good quality. Not as good as fine detail, but you know, um, some of the actual um, flowering plants, they need an update in their nature library, but nothing major, okay? So you still have really good quality plants. So you have 1,837 models there. In fine detail, you have 230, okay? You can see here the numbers. I will add this in the description of the video. Just to give you a, a, a quick update, in the 2023.3, that's the version we're talking about today, they've added another 100 fine details. So now it's 330 fine detail plants that you, you're gonna find available inside Lumion. This is really, really cool. And uh, another, we're gonna do another video separate, um, stylized uh, low poly objects. So really cool if you just wanna show some concept kind of imagery, uh, you don't wanna, we don't wanna get uh, too much into the full uh, blown out rendering. You just wanna show some concept. So you know you have trees, you have people, you have some cars, really, really cool. Um, models available as well but that's a different video so now we have a lot more fine detail plants 330 in total okay so let's go and explore it 
So where do you find these actual plant models? If you don't want to go search for the new stuff, if you're already a Lumion user, you have the latest update, a very easy way to do it is just go into their nature library and just click L23 and it's going to appear all the, the, the latest updates from this version. I'll just click new and you have here 175 results. That's what was added, not just in this latest update, but I think this counting from a 2023.1, something like this. Okay. Because, or, or even the zero version. So this is all like 2023 actually update. And you have really, really nice plants here. You have some that are really missing and that's some vine, some uh, creepers um, that it was really missing from their library, uh, hanging plants. So, you know, really, really nice to see. Um, of, in here, you can check out all the plants available to you. Okay, and you can see the stylized is in here as well as an update. But let's go and check out the default library because I really want to show you something. So find detailed plants. That's the one I'm going to show you. Have the trees as well. A cool thing now is that you have from Globe Plants. So if you know this website, Globe Plants, Evermotion, Max Tree are some of my favorite websites to pick up plants to add to your library. So uh, Lumion uh, did some partnership with them and you can see here because they have their logo. So when it's Evermotion, you see here it has their logo in small. Let me see. You see, you see here the logos, but now you have glow plants. What I really like in the latest update is that they actually have different growths um, of the same plant. So you can see here that you have five. Uh, of course, you know they have different growths here in the in the in before in the Evermotion library as well. But here it's it just seems like they did a bigger effort to show different seasons of the trees. Let's go and check it out. This Judas tree here, you have in different flowering season, uh, etc. So really nice. Um, and I'll show you. Uh, probably not going to be able to see the quality in here now while we're working on the program uh, um, in uh, doing this video but i'll show you uh, still images in the end of this video so you can check it out the quality and i'll do them in that uh, garden setting so another uh, thing i want to show you so this is the trees again you can uh, go and check it out uh, the the quality of the tree if you're a lumion user don't forget just you know search for new or search for um, L23 and it will appear all the new plants. Okay, if you want to do the same in the objects library, that's it, just press L23. But the, the update, the strongest, I feel it was the stylized version of the models and this new planting. And what I was really, really happy about, and I really want to share that, is with the vines. Okay, so I'm really, really happy. Uh, with the hanging plants okay so this is really cool I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you here you have now uh, hanging plants and don't forget uh, again Lumion always puts the first the, the like the common name I don't know from what country uh, but they always have the actual uh, Latin name of the plants. So if you in doubt, just check it out. The tags they have here in the in the bottom, um, and uh, and uh, you see Acacia cognata. So they have here, and it, you can always search, and it will appear in the search result. Okay. So this uh, partner is again really happy with this, because finally we have nice uh, hanging plants. Um, even if you don't have your particular species you really want after your planting plan, you're going to, of course, have the, the description of the plant in concrete with the species, etc. In here, you can definitely put something that looks like it um, um, in terms of creating your 3D. So really, really happy about it. I'm so, so uh, happy that finally we have some good quality hanging plants coming into Lumion because I think it was something that was really missing. But like I was saying in the beginning of this video, it was always one of the things that I liked most about Lumion is from the from the beginning, they really, really, um, they really bet on uh, having a good 
plant uh, library default library in their in their in their uh, software so i was really really happy with this that they actually because plant models they are much more complex as a, um, a normal static model for example of a chair the the complexion in terms of the polygons in each plant the branches the mo the, the way the, the structure of the plant is much much more complex so animated that it's you know a hundred times more difficult than for example um, a person or something like this so it's really important to 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 just have that in mind and, and of course the same when you're using a lot of planting in your models so one thing is i'm really happy with the with the with the, the amazing library that we have now uh, in the in the in the Lumion uh, software, but you really need to be careful how much you're using it from the fine detail nature compared with the nature one. The fine detail nature is going to always be much more heavy on your model, so have that in mind. For example, now this is in my laptop, so you know I can't process a lot here uh, because my uh, PC is working on a, on an animation, but. Um, normally, for me, for my PC characteristics, um, a three giga, three and a half, it's you know I can still work with much more than that. Uh, if I go to four, it's already really, really uh, the workflow really slows down. Uh, so have that in mind. If you know your PC, you if you used to working in Lumion, you're gonna you're gonna have the experience. Okay, I can go until this size. And the more plants you're gonna add, the more heavier that's gonna be. Okay, so have that in mind, and um, play carefully with uh, with how much planting you using it. Um, a good thing to to have uh, to have uh, in mind is you can do it in layers. You can hide them. Um, so you know, play along with that. So I'm gonna share some rendering images in a garden setting for my favorite plants. I'll add in the description of this video all the fine detail plants that they were added so you want it if you want to check them out okay so don't forget we have quite a lot of content now available so we have in total uh oh my god this is like 1837 in their nature library that's plant shrubs you know leaves branches sometimes things like that uh plus another now 230 plus 100 so 330 so more than 2000 um, uh, plants that are available inside the Lumion library okay so really 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 good news so if you want to check out more information about Lumion for landscape architecture and garden design more specifically the link is in the description of this video okay so you can have um, a sense how Lumion works plus the really cool thing of roadmaps so twin motion really started with this and i you know and i think it's something really really interesting because you can see what's in development what's in active search and what's released in terms of uh, updates okay and the one i'm looking forward and i'm missing a lot because i don't use ray tracing yet because it, um, the ray tracing really doesn't work with the plant with the nature content and this is something that's in development again it's just show you uh, how more uh, how more difficult and challenging it is to actually work with um, nature models uh, just comparing them with static ones even glass or water i think um, nature is even more difficult to work with um, but yeah something to you to check it out i'll leave the roadmap link as well in the description of this video see you guys see you in the next one